yeah, it was, right? You you know at the end of the day, and the way he speaks about it, you know he doesn't agree with it. But he breaks down why the trial eventually went the right way. But he does, he's fair. He is so fair. I love League Legal. I strongly advise any of you do find any the law interesting at any point. So he, again, he's got other sort of more background chill content, you know, where he's reacting to episodes of TV shows that have had legal episodes uh, and shit. Um, his always sunny in Philadelphia reaction is priceless. Actually amazing. And the best legal episode in any TV show came from Better, the first episode of Better Call Saul. Interestingly. Yeah. He is. He's incredible. And again, like, I know I've mentioned this before, but literally, like, he's, uh, I mean, he started a class action lawsuit against the United States in regards to proposition something or another should it have been passed you know he had he had everything in place to launch class action lawsuit against that uh, he often encourages people to join he talks a lot about class action lawsuits that are taking place that people can join in which is important um, amazing nice one trip congratulations picks and dicks Picks and dicks, picks and discord is what I was trying to say. But picks and dicks from now on means picks and discord, please. Yes. So it doesn't, that, and that is, it's a powerful point that, right? It's a powerful point that. Legally speaking, if someone had also shot and killed Rittenhouse, they would have had to get the same exact verdict. And we know if that person had been a black man. We know. Had he survived that night and not been mown down by a hailstorm of bullets from the cops whilst Carl Rittenhouse tried to turn himself in and the cops drove past him and ignored him. We know had that been a black man. Had he not been mown down by effective heavy artillery that the police had at their disposal then he would have served the rest of his life in jail for killing a hero. Whereas had that shooter been a white man that took out Carl Rittenhouse, he would have been a hero shooter taking out a shooter. Mm. Hey, let's not, let's not, let's not get me raving about racism right now, huh? We've got enough stuff to be angry about. I know I always say the human brain is powerful enough to think about all these things. And it is. I do compartmentalize and do one a day. <laughs> he didn't. He bought the gun. He bought the gun. Or he didn't even buy it. Angie, he didn't even buy it. He was given the gun when he was already across state lines. And that gun, that firearm, is completely legal for a person his age to own an open carry in that state. There we go. Didn't break the law there. As wrong as that law is, he didn't break the law there. The main issue is the prosecution trying to get him done first degree murder instead of third degree, which is manslaughter. Had the prosecution tried to get him for manslaughter, there could have been a point. Had they tried to get him for vigilantism, which is a crime in that state, they would have got him. They didn't go for vigilantism because that's a one-year sentence. They didn't go for third degree manslaughter because that's a 12-year. They went for first degree and a whole other host of, sh host of shit. They tried to get him done for like 100 years. They tried to get him put away for 100 years, which fucked. Literally fucked. So like... Literally done. The prosecution. Yeah, misinfo has run rampant everywhere. And I'm not... That's what I mean. That's why I had to show that uh, legal, legal video. Because I love people like the Young Turks. I do stand Hassan Arbi. But they have got a lot wrong. It's right to remain silent. Yeah. Like, how dare they? How dare they? The 
first thing you say to somebody is you have the right to remain silent. No, we must speak. Shut the fuck up. And again, I myself ran rampant saying, uh, no, the problem was the judge, the problem was the judge, the problem was the judge. And there are some contentious issues with the judge and not one of the contentious issues with the contentious issues that were ran within the media and that I myself believed and ran with in the watching League Illegal. I'm so happy. It was literally like he released a video debunking me a day later and I was happy for it. It was brilliant. Swedish law student. Cool. Cool. Hey, man, are you fucking studying real degrees and shit? Yeah, listening to a moron like me ramble away for hours a day. I swear all of you are actually just using me as a case study. I swear none of you actually think anything I'm saying is valid all the time and you're all just I'm just your your case study. I mean, yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. I mean, that's now like 10 of you have confessed to this. Oh my God. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Too many of you. <laughs> yeah, all right, Clary. We all know your psychology module is going to be like fucking diploma, right? Like, the, the, the granddad's lounge psychology study. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot, Sterling. I'm just a patient idiot. Again, this is why I love Joe Rogan in many ways, because even as far down the rabbit hole he's gone lately, and dumb as he's been lately, he's always admitted he's an idiot. I feel like that at times. I know I'm an idiot. I know I am. And it amazes me how many actually smart people like to listen to me. 